Well, I have great news. I have, I have three pieces of exciting news for you. One, we're about to learn the whale by the famous Alex G musician artist. Two, I put new strings on my guitar last night. It's literally been about nine months since the last time I've put new strings on my guitar. And then the third piece of exciting news, guys, guys. We have a special guest today. Hufflepuff is here, you know, but she's just gonna chill out. Her favorite animal is the whale. She likes its big fat tail. It's a three course meal, other things as well, you know. So anyway, Hufflepuff is gonna go over here and just stare at me and go, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Let's just get one quick, oh, she's already doing it. Okay, one quick close up. Hufflepuff, no, you have to look at the camp. There we go, aww. All right, there's only three chords, but the timing is very strange. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb, a limb of a whale. What? Tail, whale of a tail. I think this is the weirdest Alex G song. Just saying, just saying. Pointer finger, fifth fret, second, standard tuning. Did I mention that? Pointer finger, fifth fret, second string from the top. Middle finger is gonna play the seventh fret of the third string from the top. Kind of a stretch, right? Well, hold on to your butts. It's about to get a lot stretchier in here. Your pinky is gonna reach up to nine on the third string from the bottom. So that was five second from the top, seven third from the top, and pinky nine on third from the bottom. I just fell asleep while I was talking. Did I say everything right? Look, look at the chord. Guys, you might be tempted to use your ring finger for this right here. I recommend against it. Use your middle finger. Your ring finger's just hanging out, not doing anything. Let me just show you all three of the chords first, and then we'll talk about the strumming. So this is the first one. This is a this is a D sus two, guys. You could make an argument that it's a D add nine, no third, third, or gerst, burst and third and perst. I think I fell asleep while I was talking again. Guys, I'm gonna call it a D sus two, okay? This is what I'm gonna call it. You're gonna have to live with that. That's the first chord. Second chord is an A sus two. You just take this exact same shape and you have everything up to the top three strings. So we got five on the top, seven second from the top, nine third from the top. The third and final chord is the chord that I affectionately call the B sus two chord. You take this exact same shape and you move it one, two frets over. So now pointer fingers on seven, middles on nine, pinkies all the way up on 11. I should also mention your pointer finger, it's not barring, don't, don't worry, it's not barring. Your pointer finger needs to touch all the other strings to mute them. So that way you can strum all the strings and it sounds fine. Let's practice those three chords, guys. D sus two chord. Oh, and we go to the A sus two. Do you remember how to get to it? That's right, you just move everything up a string. Beautiful. Then you take this exact same thing, you move it one, two frets over. What's this one called? I can't remember. I can't remember what this chord is called, guys. Is it called the F minor seven plus six over seven minus nine? Hmm, I don't remember. No, it's the B sus two. Oh, great. Go to the D sus two chord. Let's learn this strumming, guys. You're gonna strum down, down, up on this. So it's down, down, up, here we go. Down, down, up, touch your toes. Down, down, up, one more time. Down, down, up, this is rhyme. Now, after that, you're gonna strum down again, but you're gonna lift up your fingers on this down. So you might play, you might hear some open strings, you might just hear some muted strings, but you're just gonna release the pressure from your fingers. So it's like, like that. You're just, you're lifting up your fingers and getting ready to go up to the A sus two, the one on the top three strings. So we're gonna go, down, down, up, lift, and just hit whatever, whatever noise the strings are making, you just strum down on that. Then you strum up on the A sus two. This is maybe the hardest part of the song. We're going down, down, up, lift, up. Hey, down, down, up, lift, up. Let's practice it with me those times in a row. Three, four, down, down, up, lift, up. Hey, down, down, up, lift, up. Okay, you're on this A sus two chord. You just strummed up on it. Then you're gonna strum down, up, down. Got it? So you strum up and then down, up, down. Guys, let's take it from the beginning and try all of that. I should mention, this whole riff that just keeps repeating, this main guitar part, is only eight beats long. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're done. So we're already halfway done with it. So that's why we're just gonna make sure we have the rhythm right, okay? One and two and here we go. And down, 
down, up, lift, up, down, up, down. Two, three, here we go again. Down, down, up, lift, up, down, up, down. Guys, so good. Let's do it even slower. It's going to be so much fun. One, two, and three, and four, and down. That's the exact same speed. Hufflepuff is sound asleep. Oh, she's looking at me. Hi. Three, and four, and down. Down, up, lift, up, down, up, down. One more time, here we go. Friends, down, down, up, lift, up, down, up, down. Okay, friends and relatives, people of the world, this is the point in the video where I say, guys, come on, go ahead, like and subscribe to the channel. If you like playing Alex G songs on the guitars, have I got the channel for you? It's right here. See, I was, doing, being a, I was doing it silly, but it sounded like I was actually a salesman. If you'll recall, the last thing we did was on our A sus2 chord, we strummed up, down, up, down. Immediately, like immediately after that last strum down, you're gonna take this chord and you're gonna slide it up two frets to our B sus2 chord. So it goes up, down, up, down, slide. Don't strum when you slide. Just slide all on its lonesome self. Up, down, up, down slide two three up down up down slide two three up down up down slide great job guys <sighs> let's take it from the beginning very slowly we're now piecing all three chords together one two from the d sus two here we go down down up lift up down up down slide okay great job one more time down down, up, lift, up, down, up, down, slide. That's it. We did it. That's it. We slid up to the seventh fret with the pointer finger. Then what you're going to do is you're going to strum down again on that chord. And then you're going to strum down, up on that chord. So that was down, slide, down, down, up, hey. Down, slide, down, down, up. Uh, what? Yes, we did it. Great job. The last, there's only there's only two strums left of the entire song, but then I, there is a little thing I have to tell you. So we just went down, slide, down, down, up. Then you're gonna lift up your fingers again and strum down as we're heading back to the first chord, the D sus two, and you're gonna strum up on that. So that that was like this, guys. That was down, slide, down, down, up, lift, up and then we're back at the beginning. Practice just that part with me. We're gonna do down, slide, down, down, up, lift, first chord up. One, two, here we go. Down, slide, down, down, up, lift, up. I told you it was weird timing, guys. Gotta get some of those electric lights. I have not, I have not been talking about my electrolytes on the guitar YouTube channel. It's a major problem. What are we gonna do about this? What we have to do now is play the whole thing all the way through. One, two, nice and slow. And down, down, up, lift, up, down, up, down, slide, down, down, up, lift, up. Oh, God, why is it so weird? Let's do it once really slowly. And then we're gonna do it medium speed twice in a row. Then I'm gonna tell you my little secret. It's not just trying to make you watch more of the video. Like that is part of it, but there legitimately is something that almost qualifies as interesting about this song I need to tell you. One, two, not, wait, really slow. Okay, really, really, really slow. Da, da, go. One, two, here we go. Down, down, up, lift, up, down, up, down, slide, down. Down, up, lift, up on the first chord. Okay. You're just gonna have to practice it. I don't know what to tell you. Let's do the whole thing medium speed, but we're gonna do it twice in a row. So that means as soon as we strum up on that last strum we just did, we're gonna immediately go down, down, up, and start the whole thing over again. Let's go. Bow, chicka, bucka, bucka. One, two, the picky bucka. Uh, down, up, lift, up, down, up, down. Down, slide, down, down, up, lift, up, down, down, up, lift, up, down, up, down, slide, down, down, up, uh, uh, 
Oh, that's so good. I'm going to do it with counting this time just because some of you, it might help if I count along with it. So if it doesn't, though, just ignore it. One, two, and a one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight, and okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for the interesting, the interesting thing that I've been teasing for the last like four minutes, guys? Here's the interesting thing. We've been going, sure why are you talking to me? I blame my watch on that whole thing. No, I blame that whole thing on my watch. Not on my watch, guys. He's strumming down and up for most of the song. And while he's singing, he's strumming down and up. For the intro to the song, he's playing the whole rhythm exactly the same, but he's strumming down on everything. He's going, So anyway, you could do that if you want. It makes a very subtle difference to the sound and a difference to the way you, you feel it. In my experience, it's easier to sing along with the song if you're strumming up and down, but there's it's a little more driving if you're playing all down the strums. What a boring way to end the video. Mm -hmm. 